very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so the market is moving mostly as expected from the last uh, weekly analysis video we can see that the euro USD has hit the, the entry level exactly as I mentioned in the last video on to sell the euro USD on 1.08913 that is exactly where the pair has reversed and we can see that it's going right now in almost uh, 25 pips of profit uh, keep the trade running because the euro usd seems to be continuing its bearish reversal and we can keep the trade running all the way let me just change the take profit level just to be safe for this week and if i'm not mistaken the euro usd is going to continue falling all the way down until it hit this previous support level right here so it's gonna retest this uh, support before it finally break out of it i believe that the euro usd is gonna break out from this level however we just need to see any price action indicating the breakout therefore i will not set my take profit level for this signal below the support and let me just adjust the take profit level for the euro usd to be on um, 1.07907 so uh, the signal is running very well so far hopefully you guys have entered it and hopefully we will get out with it of uh, with good profits now for the pound usd however uh, the signal for the buyer uh, the pound usd was given right on this level on the opening on monday we can see that the market went down against our signal for almost 50 bips and then finally it has reversed right on the support and now the, the trade is again in profit so the trade after being in loss for almost 50 pips right now is going on 64 pips of profit and if you have missed buying the pound usd let me just uh, advise you that maybe we can get another good chance if we are seeing the pair gonna reverse and fall down to this previous support because right here what we can see here let me just show you one second Shit. okay what we are having right here guys is a bullish breakout candle from this resistance and it was also a support level right here and we can see that we already have here a support number one and that is on the four hour time frame so we are having here a support number one and we are seeing now a price action indicating a bearish reversal therefore we can expect from the pound usd to actually continue falling down here retesting this support level so it's gonna create a support number two and from that point it's gonna be better option to start buying the pound usd just in case you have missed the signal let me just tell you something also that we are having here on the left side we can see that we are having a strong support level right here that is a stronger support level and therefore I'm advising you if you have missed this entry here is to place your buy order for the pound USD on the level you can buy again the pound USD on 1.29743 again the reason is we're seeing this uh, strong uh, support uh, strong support attempts here and you can expect the pair to go against your trade for almost seven or nine or ten pips uh, maximum before being finally in profit hopefully we are going to be in good, good profit and you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance so we can look for almost 87 pips of profit so let me just adjust the take profit level for the pound usd uh, 1.30634 yeah that's gonna be our take profit level for the pound usd hopefully we're gonna get them all and hopefully it's gonna be good trade <coughs> okay let's check now the AUD USD now for the AUD USD it has been ranging here on this support level for a really long time um, the signal for the short of the AUD USD has been given right on this level of the previous support level however I really don't see that the AUD USD is able to reach this support level here uh, at all at this point it's just been ranging here for the whole week so far uh, let me just see if we can adjust the signal let's go to the daily candle and we don't see much strength for the AUD USD actually what we are seeing here is just consolidation mode and the market is just ranging on this level therefore 
uh, the signal for shorting the AUD USD will be adjusted and I'm gonna change it to be on this uh, level here so we can start shorting the AUD USD on the level 666-200 now the reason is the weakness of the candles there are not much uh, indicating a bullish reversal at all not even a single price action indicating a possibility of a bullish reversal therefore I have given you the signal that the AUD USD seems to be good for the short right away uh, let me just see how many pips is that yeah 18 pips I believe the AUD USD might make another one attempt here on this previous resistance before it actually gonna start uh, continuing to go more down and to break out from the support level right here most likely the pair is gonna break out of the support and we can see the bearish momentum is really strong I really don't see any way that the AUD USD is gonna reverse at this point therefore um, it's not really that bad idea if you want to start shorting the AUD USD right away and if you do if you did that you might to be you might expect to be in loss for almost 14 15 pips before finally be in profit and therefore I really advise you to wait for the candle to reach this previous uh, resistance then you can start shorting the AUD USD let me just select now how far you can keep the thread running let me just get rid of the tech profit and let me just uh, take a look at the left if we are seeing the candle is actually breaking out from the support level yes that's better level here so we can expect from the candles or from the market to give us 170 pips of profit I mean that is not realistic at all let me just adjust it to be right here yes that's even better so we can look for almost 100 pips of profit and let me just set the take profit level for selling the AUD USD to be on 0 0.65230 notice that I'm looking at it on the weekly candles because it's really hard to look at I'm not even able to, to see it on the daily candles I'm not even able to see it because it's just way too much down actually so as you can see that was our uh, tech profit for still selling the AUD, AUD USD hopefully we're gonna get them and hopefully the market is gonna uh, follow this analysis let's right now check the USD GPY now for the USD GPY if you remember guys I mentioned that we can start shorting the G USD GPY if you want on 112.165 hoping for the market opening on Monday to reach this uh, resistance to make one last attempt before falling down actually the market is moving way much faster than I thought I never imagined that the USD GPY is gonna start the bearish momentum immediately to reach this previous support and then it's gonna start reversing so the buy signal now is active for the USD GPY sorry we can see that the trade has went against our signal for almost 40 pips before being finally in profit actually it was active here on Monday and we, we got almost 71 pips of profit for those who have joined the signal then after the pullback the pullback just went against our entry and it is right now again above the entry level so so far it is now in 15 pips of profit but again we were in 71 pips of profit so the signal for the USD GPY is really going so well uh, let's go to the daily candles let me just show you that by the way I have heard some comments uh, of some members who actually have sold the USD GPY right away at the opening of Monday that was actually smart because you they got away with so far 100 uh, 1300 sorry I'm sorry about that uh, 135 pips of profit and that was good deal actually all right so we can see here on the left let me just show you on four hour chart that we are having here oh my goodness right here I'm looking at this support right here so the, we can see that we have in here a support level and it was a support good a good support level right here and right here as well therefore the signal for buying the USD GPY was giving right on this level and I believe the USD GPY is actually gonna continue its bullish momentum 
Uh, let me just change the signal just to be safe. As I said, the market is moving really so much fast that we are not able to un to, to follow it. Therefore, uh, just to be safe, uh, let me just uh, change the take profit level to be right here so we can look for almost 90 pips of profit. Uh, let me just change the take profit level for the USCGPY to be on 111.188. Again, that's for your safety. Um, the previous take profit level was actually right here on this resistance. However, uh, the pair is moving way much faster than I thought. That's the reason I'm giving it the take profit right here because really we're not sure what's going to happen, what's going on with the USCGPY. It might actually reach this take profit level and then start reversing, uh, start making another bearish reversal again. That's why just be safe, my friends, and hopefully you will end this trade in a good profit now let's take a look at the USD Canadian so the USD CAD uh, let me just be sure about my signal for the last week of the USD CAD where the signal was given one second all right so the buy signal for the USD CAD was laying right here on the support level however we can see that the pair instead of opening and going down below the support it just made a bullish reversal and started moving up be above this previous resistance right here therefore the signal for the USD CAD is going to be changed and let me just uh, adjust the entry level to be exactly right here that is on daily candles let's go to the 4 hour chart and actually the USD CAD is making a bullish reversal right now and the uh, uptrend is uh, winning this argument for the USD CAD we can expect from the from the USD CAD actually con to continue the bullish reversal. I think it's gonna continue going up here. Uh, let me just change that. We can start buying the USD CAD right here. Let me just be safe to the maximum right here exactly. So this is gonna be better level to start buying the USD CAD. We can start buying it on the level 1.32654 and. I think the candle is going to reach this level after yeah 16 17 pips I think this is going to happen in a few moments and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit the resistance level right here again so we can look for almost 57 56 pips of profit because I cannot make my take profit level higher than this resistance we are not sure how the USD CAD is going to reach uh, sorry, it's going to react to this resistance level. It might actually break out of it. It might reverse. Again, we need to see the price action indicating a reversal or a continuation in the trend. Therefore, it's not in my hand. We cannot really set any higher take profit level from this one here. So the take profit for the USD CAD is going to be changed to the level 1.33195. Hopefully, it's going to be a good signal and the market is going to follow this uh, signal, hopefully. Let's check right now the USD CHF. USD CHF, as you can see, my friends, has entered or has hit the buy order or the buy entry level I mentioned in the last weekly analysis video. As I said, we are having here a support number one after this bu uh, bullish breakout candle. This resistance here has become a previous uh, a newer support level. And look at that, the USDCHF did not even go below my entry level and those who have entered this uh, signal are right now in a good profit of 21 pips of profit. Uh, please keep the trade running, uh, the USDCHF seems to be going up here and let me just, um, I think there is nothing need to be changed for the USDCHF, the signal is going well and nothing has been changed so keep the trade running until it hit the given take profit level let's finally check the gold which is really uh, surprising me a lot um, I have heard that there were some members who have entered the, sig the signal for the gold once it actually reached this level right here uh, we can see that I have sent the signal that we can start selling the gold for short time on the level 1651.17 however on Monday opening the market just made this a huge jump actually above this resist uh, resistance the market went for almost 372 pips against uh, our signal I mean I actually sent uh, one comment on my YouTube video 
telling you to cancel the signal because the candles actually didn't even reach the signal level uh, the market opened above my entry level look at look at that I sent the signal to start shorting here let me just be sure which level yeah 617 exactly and then we can see that opening Monday the market just went up above this uh, level however the market immediately on the next day just went again below the sub, uh, resistance level and I have heard there were some members who have entered the signal and they get out of it with really good profit they kept the thread running all the way until it hit this previous resistance level actually let me tell you something that this was the actual level I mentioned that we can start buying the, the gold however I really didn't think it's gonna happen this week I'm really surprised to be honest with you let me just show you on the weekly candles on the weekly candles if we look at the left we can see that we are having here this support level and frankly speaking I really never thought that the gold is gonna reach this support level immediately on Tuesday I mean the gold went down for almost 270 pips in one day and that is shocking actually therefore the pair is moving really fast and the original buy level which I have mentioned on the last weekly analysis video uh, is right now active and again I'm, I didn't expect it to happen however what's gonna happen now with the gold I really don't want to mention much about the gold because it's moving based on the news about the coronavirus thing however from technical view from technical view we can expect from the gold to continue rising a little bit more up until it hit this resistance level right here so uh, the bullish momentum is actually winning this uh, um, the trend direction and therefore we can see that after hitting this previous uh, resistance and be uh, now at a, a newer support level we can expect from the, the gold to actually continue rising all the way up to make another attempt on this resistance level because we right now we're having here a resistance number one and the gold seems to be going to create a resistance number two now can I advise you to expect from the pair to reverse on the resistance number two absolutely not because the pair is moving really way so much faster and seems like it's gonna continue the bullish momentum therefore what is the signal given for the gold this week or this on this midweek analysis video um, it's gonna be to wait for another attempt on the support level that is our best shot actually for uh, buying the gold I cannot just tell you to start buying the gold randomly no no way so the best option for the gold is to just to, uh, to start buying the gold buy on the level 1.6 uh, 1624.80 that's the exact same level of the previous support level what we are having here is a support number one and we can hope for from the uh, from the market to actually make another attempt to create a support number two and then only then we can start buying the gold again and keep your trade running all the way until it hit actually this previous resistance right here don't be greedy don't be greedy at all especially with the gold so the tech profit level is gonna be on 1658.50 so as I said this week uh, the market is moving really fast especially the USD GPY and the gold are moving way faster than I thought please guys be, be, be careful and hopefully this week is gonna be ended in a good profit for everyone in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching